Okay, so before the video starts, I just want to apologize for the video being so late. I filmed it about a year ago, and some files got corrupted, um, some audio was missing from some of the files, the microphone wasn't working, a bunch of different stuff, everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong, so I kind of put it on the back burner and just kept making excuses of why I wasn't going to make this video. But I found all the old footage, so I kind of scraped together to see if I could make a video out of it, and this is the best I can come up with. Hopefully, maybe in the future, if uh, I find a friend that's looking for the same modification, I can help him with his, and film it as well so I can replace this video. But I at least wanted to get this video out here to not waste the footage, and hopefully to help someone with their short throw shifter install. The tools required for this install, you're going to need two 12mm wrenches, you need a flathead, you need a Phillips, um, you're going to need a small punch, uh, a set of Allen keys, you're going to need a ratchet with an extension and a 10mm, um, you're going to need wire cutters for cutting the zip tie. Uh, it could help if you had some interior removal tools, but it's not necessary. And you're going to need some C-clip pliers. So you can either buy a kit where they're interchangeable, the tips, and they're for internal and external C-clips. So if you get the kind that's not in a kit, make sure you get the one that closes, which I believe is the internal ones. Okay, so today we're going to be installing the Cobb short throw shifter. Uh, first thing you're going to be doing is uh, opening up the compartment here and there's going to be two 10 millimeter bolts. Take your 10 mil and remove them. Here's what they look like. Uh, they're right in there in case you don't know. Next step would be to pull up on the e-brake boot and there should be another Okay, I know that could be a little bit uh, discouraging pulling up on it because it has a lot of resistance. So as you can see right here, it has these uh, three clips that pull straight up and uh, it took a little bit of force, uh, so don't be scared to pull up on it because I know taking interior parts is a little bit scary sometimes, breaking plastic pieces. Whole Phillips head we're going to be taking out so we can push back this uh, console piece. pops out of there and then two grooves right here. Lift it up and pop it out first and then push it back. Next we're gonna move the shift now because it's kind of important. All right, so once you get the shift knob off, you're gonna pull up on the uh, plastic piece. So I find the best way to remove this piece is to kind of like grab right here and pop up. Um, if you try and get it from the sides or the front, uh, you don't really get a good grip on it. So if you kind of dig your hands a little bit into the shift boot and it pops straight up, you're good. And then you have to pull kind of towards you a little bit. Woo! Okay, that's a little bit scary, but uh, yeah. connector piece is going to be pressed in here. Uh, you're just going to push in the pins from this side, pop it out this way, move the wire and the clips. Next you're going to cut the zip tie. It's holding in the, uh, on the reverse cable thing. Move these two plastic uh, screws I guess. Alright, so these are the little plastic screw things. Okay. This is the end of the reverse cable. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to push it and then stick an Allen key in the hole. So, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little overexposed, but I have the Allen key in the uh, in the hole holding it in place so it'll be a lot easier to get the shifter in up top so it's kind of an important step um, I thought maybe I could do without it turns out you can't yeah. just to show you where I am underneath the car um, you got the catalytic converter starting here um, you got this brace and then you got the transmission right here I'm on the uh, driver side of the transmission so brace catalytic converter that's where you are.
Make sure you save that piece because you're going to need a litter. So you're going to take two 12 millimeter wrenches, um, one on each side. You're going to remove the main bolt. Okay, so once you get the snap ring plier out, you can uh, lift on the shifter. So this piece right here on the left, you can see is the uh, actual reverse cable. Pull that out, um, just push it aside, and you can lift straight up, and you should be able to... Alright, mine was a little bit caught. So at this point, we're going to be transferring everything over from the stock shifter to the new shifter. So I went ahead and removed this piece um, because it will make it easier to install some of the screws. So you're going to remove the C-clamp or snap ring. Spring. Also, it has two screws in the bottom to remove this. I previously uh, removed it. Um, and then the little rubber grommet at the end. Two bushes. Wiping the old grease off. Uh, just so you can apply new grease. First thing is going to be installing this piece. As you can see, with that piece missing, it makes it easier to just screw it through. Turn it up a little bit. Reinstall that. Two little Allen keys. You can also set high adjustment with this. Make it a little bit higher if you want to. Okay. Uh, also make sure you grease up this shaft. So, probably put this on before you put this on, but you can slide it over. Slide a little lever. Make sure the ball is lubricated. You could place this on before you put your ball back on. But After that, um, you're going to need to install these adapters so that you can fit the bushing spec in there. Same thing with the other side. You're going to want to put some grease on here too. Uh, we whipped it all off just to get the old grease off, but uh, yeah, put some grease on there and slide it in. Good to go. Okay, um, now we're going to reinstall the shifter. Sometimes this doesn't want to seat correctly, so you're going to have to push it down with a screwdriver and try and get that uh, C-clip or snap ring uh, seated in. I'm going to take the reverse cable and feed it through. Snuck it up. So the ending of the video, the files got corrupt a little bit, but it's pretty simple. Um, you're just doing the reverse steps, reinstalling the reverse cable, putting in the pen, re-zip tying the reverse cable. So once you had it all installed before you put the interior pieces back on, check to make sure the shifter goes through all the gears because you don't want to put all the interior pieces back on, realize this wasn't installed properly and take everything back off. So it saves a little bit of time if you just check it beforehand. Last thing would be taking the Allen key out, uh, make sure you don't forget that step.